What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you two easy things to do inside of Seller Central. The very first one is I'm going to show you guys exactly how to print out this FN SKU label that you're going to have your manufacturer put on every single product that you send to Amazon so that they can be scanned in by Amazon um, so they can know exactly what you're selling. So FN SKUs. And the second thing I'm going to show you guys is exactly how to create a shipping plan. So I'm going to walk you through a step by step tutorial on exactly what you need to be putting into Seller Central when you are creating your very first shipping plan. And so once again, this shipping plan is going to allow you to create labels, to send email to your manufacturer so that he can put the labels on every single box where it has a bunch of your packages and your products in. And so with those labels, it can be sent to Amazon um, and actually arrive there. Now, there are two ways that you can actually send your physical products like this into Amazon. There's two different methods. Now, the very first way is the lazy and the honestly the easier method where you simply have the labels created in Amazon Seller Central. You send them to your manufacturer and he puts them on every single package, every single box, specifically not every single package, every single box. And with these big boxes that have a bunch of your units inside them, those are going to be sent to Amazon. That's method one. Now, the second method is when he sends the boxes that have all your, your different physical products in that box, he sends the boxes to you, which will allow you to check the boxes, get peace of mind. You know, you may or may not want to be doing this up to you. A lot of people allow them to just, you know, actually physically see their products and be happy with it. But once again, this is not mandatory. There's the method where he ships them in or the method where he ships them to you. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys both those methods. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe down below because I release multiple step-by-step -step tutorials every single week showing you how to do Amazon FBA. All right, guys, so we're in Seller Central, and the very first thing that we want to do is once again print out F and Q labels to go on every single product that we sell. Once again, it's this simple um, barcode right here that once again, you need to put on all the products you sell. And so if you want to access that, we go to the corner, left-hand corner, scroll down to inventory, and then click manage FBA inventory. Now, this is where we can see all the products that we sell. And if we click on the specific product that we want to get a general barcode for, we come to edit, click the drop down arrow, and then simply click on print item labels. Now this is going to take you to a different screen where you can choose what paper that you're going to print out the FNCU labels on. Now I recommend the 30 up labels. And once again, you don't have to physically print them out yourself. You can simply have your manufacturer print them out, but you need to actually send this barcode to him so that he makes sure, so that you can make sure that he puts them on every single unit you sell. Now, if you go to print item labels, make sure that the 30 up paper is selected once again. And so number of labels to print, you just wanna have 30 labels. Just simply come over here and click in 30. If it lets me, three zero, it's not letting me. Delete that zero. Now we want to click print item labels. And once we hit that, we click OK. And basically it will be saved right here. And it's very simple. Once again, you want to send this PDF to your manufacturer. And for the specific paper, if he is not familiar with the paper, which he probably will be, but once again, if he's not, go to Amazon, click on F and type in F and SKU labels, and it's this paper right here. And so it's the one that has 30, so it's 10 rows of three. So it's very simple. Make sure that he uses the right paper. And these are gonna be sticky papers where you can just peel off a sticker. He's gonna print, he's gonna laser print the F and SKUs, peel off a sticker, and once again, put it on every single product that he's packaging into the big boxes that he's gonna to send to Amazon. So after all of our products are labeled, the next step is we're gonna actually create a shipment where he's going to ship the units into Amazon. Now this is very simple. And like I mentioned before, there are two different options. The option where he physically in China or wherever he's located ships the, ships the units and the packages to Amazon or there's another the second option where you where he's going to send the he's going to send the units to you first you check the units and then you can actually use UPS and send them to Amazon yourself after you check them if you choose to do so or not it's completely up to you you can go to option one which is where he sends them in but once again we come to Seller Central we want to click on the three arrows come to inventory and we want to select manage FBA inventory now this is once again where we see all of our products and then for the specific product that we're trying to sell, we come to the drop down arrow once again, and then we're gonna click send slash replenish inventory. Now, this is going to take us to the specific inventory page where we can actually create a shipping 
plan. All right, guys, so this is Amazon sent to Amazon, we can see right here, or in other words, their shipping um, section where you can actually create a shipping template, which is gonna allow you to make um, shipping in the future. Very, very simple. You simply click on the template, click how many boxes you have to send in, send to your manufacturer, and it becomes very simple. But in order to get to that step, we have to actually create a shipping template first. Now, in order to do that, we have these queue details right here. We have the packing details and we have the information slash actions. So if you look under packing details, you see white bundles. You won't see that. You will just simply see individual units or create new case pack template. Now, these are two different options you have. You have the individual units, which are going to be, let's say you want to send in 5, 10, 15, however many individual units you're going to be sending in. Um, and so this is a lot of times will never be used. You will be simply creating a case pack and specifically what a case pack is, it's going to allow your shipping and allow your manufacturer shipping to be very, very easy. So this involves when he has a bunch of boxes that are going to be the same. They have, let's say we have a box that has 50 units and he has, he's sending in 10 boxes for a total of 500 units. If you create a new case pack template, we can say that all our boxes are going to have 50 units. They're all going to be this size and they're all going to weigh this weight. And so once you create that template for all the future things, all you have to do is simply come over to right here. You see the boxes and units and you just click on, it'll already have the units filled out. It'll have 50 units filled out and you can just simply choose, let's say we're sending in 10 boxes the next time. So we just simply click, click in 10 boxes and then every single time it's very, very simple. You don't have to, you don't have to create a new um, individual case pack template. Now, once again, to create this, we simply click on the drop down menu and we click on create new case pack template. Now for this specifically, this is where we're going to get very specific. So we have, let's say the very first shipment, we're just going to title it first shipment to keep it very simple. And then for the units per box, once again, let's say we have 50 units per box, the dimensions, let's just, we're going to guess right now, but once again, you want to be contacting your manufacturer, ask him exactly what the units and the dimensions for the box are going to be. And something that is very, very important is the box weight. So for this, you have to have a box weight that's under 50 pounds. Amazon deems it as a very high risk for someone to pick up a box by themselves that's over 50 pounds. So if you send them boxes that are heavier, you're going to get marked on Amazon and you don't want to be getting uh, more than two marks. Honestly, I would never even really get a mark because you can just simply have your box, you know, 47 pounds, 46 pounds, somewhere in that range to where even if your manufacturer messes up and puts an extra unit or two in the box, it still won't go over that 50 pound weight. So once again, let's say that we had, um, let's say that we had units that weighed one pound each and we had 50 units per box, that would be 50, that'd be 50 pounds. And so you would obviously, if that was the case, you want to put 48 units in a box just to be on the safe side or even 47 units in a box, but make sure that the box plus the units, once again, the boxes are going to weigh, you know, a pound, two pounds, depending on how big and how sturdy it is, but make sure that's under 50 pounds. So once again, box weight 47, and then basically who labels units. So we're going to, if we, if we click on the who preps units, if you just select the category really quick, choose prep category. Now this is where we have a specific um, prepper. So either we're gonna prep it our manufacturer is going to prep it or Amazon is going to prep it. In most cases, in all cases that I recommend is that you should have your manufacturer prep it. In terms of prepping it, it's very simple. He's just basically putting this effing SKU code on every single product that you sell. He's prepping it. And so once again, if you have your manufacturer prep it, it makes your job a lot easier. And if Amazon preps it, it's going to cost 30 cents just to put the simple sticker on every single unit you sell. So that can really eat into your margins and it's just very simple to have your manufacturer do it. So if you scroll down, um, we can just basically choose a category. Um, they have a bunch of different categories, but once again, no prep needed um, because you're going to have your manufacturer prep these units. Now click save. And then um, we have prep category, no prep needed and no labeling required. So once again, he's going to label it, he's going to prep it. And it's very simple, just have the FNSQ barcode, put it on every single unit you sell. We click save and now we have a first shipment after we save it. Now, what do we do? So if we have selected white bundles. If we come down to the first shipment, it should be one box. And once again, that was like, I believe 47 units. So now make sure you're having the correct packing details uh, template saved for shipment one box, 47 units. Now, the next thing, ready to send. We click on that, and now this is where we can actually choose the specific shipping date. As you see right here, we click confirm and continue. They will have a specific shipping date that we can choose, and you wanna choose today's date because you wanna have your manufacturer sending it out as soon as possible, but once again, um, today's date is what you should is what you should choose. 
So after we select the date, we have the shipping mode. So we have the small parcel delivery and we have less than truckload. In most cases, you will be using the small parcel delivery. Um, but once again, it's very simple. If we scroll down further, this is where we can actually choose exactly who's sending the units into Amazon. So we had the manufacturer method and we had the manufacturer sending it to us and us sending it to Amazon method. Now for the first, first example, I'm gonna show you guys the manufacturer method, meaning that we're creating barcodes to send to our manufacturer to put on every single package so that he can send them into Amazon. So with that being said, we come to non-Amazon partnered carrier. So he can basically use any shipping um, company he wants to use. He can use DHL, he can use UPS, he can use whatever he wants to use. We click other and then we click accept charges and confirm shipping. Now, once we click that, it's gonna actually allow us to basically have the shipping labels that once again, we're going to email to him. If we scroll down, basically we're gonna print it out. And so I recommend the three by one quarter times four inch US and we're gonna hit basically print. And so once again, this is what the label is going to look like. It's going to be very simple. Um, but once again, you need to send this to your manufacturer and make sure he puts on every single box and then sends them into Amazon to get sales. Now, let me show you guys the second method where once again, he's going to send the units to us. We're going to check the units, get the peace of mind, see that the units are actually in good shape and, and whatever. What, you don't have to do this, but once again, you can if you want. But let me show you guys exactly how to do it. So if we come back over to inventory, manage FBA inventory, come back, click on the specific units you wanna send in, send slash replenish inventory. And now we're gonna go through the exact same steps. Um, we already have a shipping plan created now. So once again, we're going to go down and make sure that we're, click, that we're clicking on the first shipment. We're sending in a single box. Um, once again, it's no, prep not required and no labeling required because we are doing that ourselves or specifically having our manufacturer do it for us clicking ready to send. And now this is once again, where we are going to confirm and continue. And then we're gonna to select today's date. And then after we do that, we're going to choose a different shipping method. So we're gonna do small parcel delivery. And now this is where we're going to use UPS Amazon partner carrier. Now, what does this mean? Basically it's going to be Amazon and UPS's established relationship where they have discounted rates. And so once again, you're still using UPS. Let's say if you were to go to UPS, physically walking with your boxes, try to send them through UPS, it's going to cost you two times, maybe even, yeah, it's probably gonna cost you around two times as much than if you were to use Amazon's codes that they already have. They already have an established relationship. And so once again, you're still using UPS, but Amazon gives you discounted rates, which is very, very, very convenient. And so once we select UPS Amazon Partner Carrier, we're going to click Accept Charges and Confirm Shipping. And now this is where we actually get the codes. Once it loads, so we'll get the codes. So as we can see, once again, we wanna click on the, so the specific codes that I like to use are the eight and a half by five and a half US letter, and we're gonna hit print. And so unlike the first codes that we saw, this is going to be a different layout. We're gonna have the specific destination. And so once again, it's going to Phoenix, Arizona. This is going to be one of their warehouses where it's going to go. And then we have the specific um, other part of the code. And so for this, once again, you, you, so you're going to get the, so you have the boxes in your hand, in your house in the United States. And so now that's in the United States, we're going to use these codes to send it via um, non-international domestic to go other places in the United States, whether it's Arizona, whether it's California, wherever it is, you're going to put this code onto every single box that you send into Amazon so that they can actually get to Amazon. All right guys, so that was how to print out F and SKUs, how to create a shipping plan and a shipping label for your manufacturer and how to create a shipping plan if you get the boxes in the United States yourself. And so with all that being said, make sure you're taking action. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I will make sure to respond back to you. Also smash the thumbs up button and give the video a like and also subscribe down below because I release multiple step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step videos that you can follow along with me every single week multiple times. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.